What's up, you guys? Today, we are going to be testing a bunch of more random malware. And what better platform to test it on than AnyRun? This is AnyRun. Domain name, as you can see up here, any.run. Identify cyber threats early to act fast. Interactive malware sandbox. And AnyRun helps security teams analyze threats faster and way more efficiently regardless of their experience level. So I can see down here, we have the little interactive sandbox, analyzing some malware, and then a little malware analysis over here. Now, depending on what you do in your security team, this can fit for a variety of needs, such as monitoring, triage, incident response, digital forensics, threat hunting, things like that. Now, this one, analyze malware and phishing in a safe environment. Easy to use, configurable, quick to deliver the verdict, any run sandbox, accelerates your malware research. Now with AI, gotta love AI. So they have a threat intelligent lookups, and so they have threat intelligent lookups, examine cyber attacks faster by using up-to-date data from other investigations. You look into their intelligence rule sets over here. You can do lookup, do a little query up there. Yeah, pretty much what I just said. So pretty cool and then they also have a security training lab malware analysis course with hands-on training for academic institutions individual researchers and teams which looks very cool and fun but today we are going over the malware sandbox and a little malware analysis so here we have start your analysis submit file slash email self-explanatory submit url investigate malicious and phishing activity and inspect downloaded files and check suspicious links Safe browsing, open any URL to verify the content fast and easily and safely. We can extend the duration of the analysis time, use network stuff, residential proxy, use a different operating system we want to use, things of that nature. Pre-installed and soft set, we're doing Microsoft Office. You can edit the privacy settings, so this one will do only me, and then we can run a private analysis. So the file is being uploaded for a private analysis, um, just removing uh, my face so you can see everything better. But um, you can see processes will start to populate once the malware is run, as you can see over there in the little process tree. Lots of more processes starting to pop up here. You can click into the process details, more info, see the threat verdict, see the different um, TTPs, modified files, static discovering, you can look into the PE, main, and a hex. And we can see the HTTP request, malicious, lots of them malicious, you can see the connections, the DNS requests, and the list of threats. You can click into the threat details, see the main HTTP and Shikata rule data, which is very good for SOC teams and SOC analysis. We can click into the IOCs, see the different IOCs there, click into a graph. You can see the processes in graph form, which I find very helpful and you can click into the process details for more info. And click on attack. And you can see the MITRE attack matrix, um, the different techniques that was used for the malware. So here we are in public submissions under reports. And you can see the different public submissions. As you can see, one just updated, so they are coming in pretty often. You can see no threats detected, suspicious activity. You can see the file name, c.bat, message detection detail package. And you can see down here, the little tags, phishing, 43, 42. This one, obfuscated JS, phishing, SharePoint, possible phishing. So lots of that stuff. So we're gonna go over here, filter, and we're gonna remove my face so you can see what I'm doing. Verdict malicious search and then you can see all of the malicious files and files and everything that's been uploaded so my face is back 
let's click on a random one, shall we? So as you can see, this is the screenshot over here. You can see the processes that happened over here this way, but we're going to click restart up here. This is the file operating system duration. Can we up it to 656? Let's see. Let's run. Sweet. Now we have 11 minutes. Let's go. You can see things are starting to populate. Where it's in the downloads. You can see all the processes that are popping up over here. We have our malware. Xeno rat has been detected. Starts itself from another location. Read security settings of Internet Explorer. Executable content was dropped or overwritten. So if we click PE, static discovering. You can see the hex, main, the MD1, SHA-256, things of that nature. Seems like this didn't have anything fun pop up. And everything was just kind of in the background. So let's see the connectors, DNS requests, threats, Xenorat default handshake inbound, network trojan. Oh, you see the stream data and the rule. Nice. Very good for SOC teams. Anyways, let's find another one. And here, look what we have. WannaCry. And if you don't know what WannaCry is, it was a huge ransomware incident that mass infected computers. It first started, I think, in a college classroom and then someone tweeted about it and then you just went from there. So fact check me if I'm wrong. So let us restart this VM request for quotation.zip. So that's what the WannaCry ransomware is being run from. Can we do Windows 10 and run a public analysis? All your data will be in the public access and the public reports section. Yes. Sweet. Let's see what pops up. Here it is. Let's run it. And we have three minutes and 38 seconds. Maybe it's just taking its time. These seem to be WannaCry file. Nice. I'm just waiting for the pop-up. Oh, here we go. Taking his damn time. Come on, WannaCry. We have two minutes and 30 seconds. Do your thing. Pop up. Because if we go to desktop, everything's encrypted. And we have the WannaCry decryptor.exe and please read me.txt. So what's in the please read me.txt? What's wrong with my files? Oops, your important files are encrypted. It means you will not be able to access them anymore until they are decrypted. Follow our instructions to guarantee that you can decrypt all your files quickly and safely. Let's start decrypting. There we go. Here's the pop-up. What happened to my computer? Your important files are encrypted. Can I recover my files? Sure. How do I pay? Bitcoin only. Hell yeah. Now, I want to continue reading this readme. Don't worry about decryption. We will decrypt your files surely because nobody will trust us if we cheat users. Excuse me, pop up. I was trying to read. I was trying to read your readme. If you need assistance, send a message by clicking contact us on the decryptor window. Contact us. Message. Help. Send. Too short. What the hell? Send. I wonder if a chat box will pop up. We only have 16 seconds. Send $600 worth of Bitcoin to this address. And time ran out. So I guess we don't get to talk with support. But if we look over here, the processes, this is the file. Pro formo, invoice and bank swift dot exe. When a cry ransomware is detected, drops known malicious image, modifies file in the Chrome extension folder, writes file to the word startup folder. Actions look like stealing a personal data. Sweet. Go into the PE of this thing. Hex. Is there anything? Nothing cool. Usually people put some little messages in their hex data in malware because it's fun. And main. And then we have the more info over here. 100 out of 100 malicious. You can see all of the processes that were just run and the TTPs attached to them. Yay. Which is fun. Process dump. The modules. The registry changes, yay, WannaCry Cryptor, and the modified files, which you can see the WannaCry extension there, which is super fun. And we go to IOCs, summary of indicators of compromise. This is the main object, obviously, that has the ransomware on it. And then the dropped file, super cool. Oh, and here's a little AI summary. This process tree shows a series of processes and files that were observed during a sandbox analysis. The processes include all those processes. The files include RAR, blah, and preforma invoice and bank swift. Malicious programs may use processes like TAS, DLL, and cscript.exe to execute malicious scripts or download additional malware. Yay. And we have a graph and it's huge. I and mean, you can see it right here. 
wanna cry, hashtag wanna cry, command.exe, decryptor.exe, going up there, command.exe, and conhost and wmic.exe, which is fun. Oh, and you can see the command that they ran. Ooh, that's fun. And all the minor attack stuff. Initial access, phishing, execution, command and scripting interpreter, visual basic, Windows command shell, user execution, malicious file, persistence, browser extensions, boot, our logon, auto start execution, registry, run key slash startup folder. If you click into that and it has more details. Permissions required, administrator, data sources, Adversaries may achieve persistence by adding a program to a startup folder or referencing it with a registry run key. See, this is fun. Oh my god, and you see the little paths. This is fun. I'm having fun. I love MITRE. Anyway, if you don't know what MITRE is, first of all, what are you doing? Second of all, learn MITRE. Anyways, that was fun. Let's see another one. Multitool.exe. Screenshot Discord. Stealer. Yeah. Let's run it. Multitool.exe. Here it is. Clicking it. And the HTTP requests are popping up. Connectors. DNS requests. Threats. A network trojan was detected. Discord. Device retrieving external IP address. External IP lookup IP-API.com. Discord chat service domain and DNS lookup. That's fun. Generic external IP check. Now you see Discord.com. That's fun. Anyway. Let's click into it. Let's look at the PE. Blank grabber has been detected executing a file with untrusted certificate. Application launched itself. Process dumps Python dynamic module. Executable content was dropped. Process drops C runtime libraries. Process drops legitimate Windows executable. Hex. Anything fun? No, nothing really fun in the hex. And the more info, what we just went over, and the timeline of the process. And the command line, multitool.exe. Code signing. Untrusted. Wow. And you can download the certificate. Modified files, no registry changes, synchronization. Let's see the summary. Multitool.exe and various commands related to it. The program is executed multiple times with different command lines and images. The program is also associated with the execution of other programs and commands such as we to vittle QE and computer defaults no ouch e pass. Oh, weird as hell. Let's run one more. There's another Discord one. Another WannaCry. And these are just the latest ones that have been uploaded recently. Lots of Discord ones here. We got some ransomware going on. Let's try this one, dharma.exe. Now some stuff's popping up. Let's restart. We get a lot of pop-ups. Look at all those processes. Beautiful. Hey, look at that. So nice. What does this say? Scan all network by mask and mount shared folders or drives. Network scan. Appreciate your time. Select IP addresses to scan for network. One. The Xbox Game Pass. The ultimate ransomware pop-up. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass. The ultimate ransomware pop-up. That's insane. I make myself laugh sometimes. Anyways. Let's continue. So what is this? Everything? Sure. Let's run. The everything app? Hello. There's a functionality for taking screenshot. Oh. CNC activity. PC Hunter. I what a PC Hunter is. Dharma.exe. Let's look into it. Dharma crisis is detected. Executing commands from a .bat file starts command exe. Security settings in the Internet Explorer. Cool. Modified files 10. Registry changes 1. The attack matrix. Command and scripting interpreter. System services. Persistence create account, local account, domain account, unsecured credentials and files. They actions look like stealing a personal data. Edge kids mode, user data. Yeah. Data encrypted for impact. I'd be surprised if a ransomware didn't encrypt the data. And now I'm just clicking on random stuff. Welcome to threat intelligence, statistics, charts, recent events, and reports. So this has nothing to do with the ransomware we just uploaded but find an IP, URL, domain, or hash and create a custom request. Yara, sweet. And threat intelligence reports. This report outlines activity by APT41. Ooh, you can run the sample. Dust trap, Hellobot, can we do dust trap? Down here, as you can see, dust trap has been detected. Executes application, which crashes. What else is there? 
popular techniques, query registry system information discovery, malware threat statistics, emotet, shout out, popular rules. See, this is cool, guys. This is cool. For emotet, the task that changes the domain, la 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 club, search and look up. Can I put that? Hold on. Wait, let's copy. Let's go to just the top. Check suspicious links. Check suspicious links. La 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 dot club. I'm nervous. <laughs> Preparing your browser. It's Edge. The site does not have a certificate. There's the web for la 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 club. Interesting. Anyway, so that is all for today for running random malware. Super cool. Super fun. Any run. Thanks for sponsoring the video. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Your stuff is super cool. And I use it a lot. So you guys should too. And for any run, make sure you sign up with your business email. And I will have some links in the description to sign up as well. So make sure you click them. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, punch all the buttons in the face. Sorry, arm armrest. I hit my armrest a little bit too hard there, punching all the buttons in the face. But I will see you in the next video.